Okay, we have already discussed about databases, database management system and why we need database. Now we are going to discuss purpose of database management system. Initially, we were storing everything in file systems, uh, which was having several drawbacks and those drawbacks, to solve those drawbacks was the actual purpose of database systems. Uh, first of the drawback was uh, multiple copies were stored in file formats so there was duplication of information which was residing in different files in different formats and that was leading to inconsistency inconsistency means uh, if same information is stored at so uh, two places and if i want to change something i'm changing at one place i'm not changing at another place and later on when i'm retrieving i don't know which information is right so that way if i'm having multiple copies of a single data and while updating and forgetting one of the places to update in that case I don't get the consistent data second problem was just difficulty in accessing data we uh, if I want to access anything from file I need to write a program if a little bit structure is changed I need to write a program if I want something else to be done I have to write a new program means for any piece of information which I want from data I have to write a new program so it was difficult to retrieve data and because third problem was data isolation because multiple files were there and multiple formats were used there were no standard format of storing data so data isolation was the biggest problem another problem was integrity uh, problems like if I want to place any constraint on certain data key this data should not be less than zero or name should be only alphabets or something it was very difficult to do that it has to be coded for any single integrity constraint i need to code a program and it was very difficult to add any new constraint to existing ones when i want a new constraint on my data this issue was also uh, this issue has to be solved in database management system then another problem was the atomicity of updates like for example if uh, something is failing in between the transaction it should either complete or either uh, or roll back something has to be happen so that it does not lead to inconsistent state for example if we think that if i am moving money from account a to account b i am deducting amount from a but not uh, depositing in B, in between there is a failure, the entire transaction should, ro should roll back. So that was also not possible in file, but it has been taken care in database management systems. Another problem was concurrent access by multiple users. The same file has to be used by multiple users. It was difficult because file can be uh, open in certain read mode or write mode. If one is opening in write mode, concurrent access was not possible and concurrent access is needed for higher performance. It cannot, we cannot set for completing one transaction and making all other way to do their transaction. So uncontrolled concurrent access can lead to inconsistency. For example, two people reading a balance and updating at the same time can lead to this inconsistent database so uh, concurrent access by multiple users is also solving uh, database systems another issues were security issues like if i i don't want every data to be open to everybody i want certain amount of data to be available to one user certain amount of data to be available to other users that was very difficult in uh, file system it, it was very difficult so database system offers solution to all about problems and that's why these are all the basic purpose of database management system again i have used the book database system concept as in this time uh, thank you we'll see you in the next session